The announcement that Scarlett Johansson is set to play a trans man in upcoming film Rub and Tug has left many, especially those in the LGBTQ community and trans community, a bit, well, unsettled. Looks like this marks strike two for Scarlett. Scarlett Johansson is once again under fire for her choice in movie roles, this time for the upcoming film called Rub and Tug, based around the life of a trans man. Rub and Tug follows the 1970s crime boss Dante Tex Gill, who was originally born Gene Gill as he controls Pittsburgh's illicit massage parlors. As news comes that Scarlett was chosen to play Dante, it's safe to say that things got a little heated. Trans actress Trace Lissette tweeted, quote, Oh word, so you can continue to play us but we can't play y'all? Hollywood is so beep. I wouldn't be as upset if I was getting in the same rooms as Jennifer Lawrence and Scarlett for cis roles, but we know that's not the case. A mess. Yikes, Trace was not the only trans actress to speak out either. Jamie Clayton, a transgender actress in the Netflix series Sense8, tweeted, quote, Actors who are trans never even get to audition for anything other than roles of trans characters. That's the real issue. We can't even get in the room. Cast actors who are trans as non-trans characters, I dare you. Of course, it doesn't help that Scarlett came under fire for her role in the 2017 film Ghost in the Shell, playing a character that was originally supposed to be Japanese. Many angry tweets allude to the fact that this isn't Scarlett's first controversial role. Interestingly though, it was also directed by Rupert Sanders, the same director Scarlett has teamed up with for Rub and Tug. One Twitter user stated, quote, Scarlett Johansson is playing a trans man in her next movie because her ultimate career goal is to take an acting job from a member of each and every marginalized group. Oof. While another tweeted, quote, Scarlett Johansson has proven time again that she is not much of an ally when it gets in the way of her personal advancement. I hope this new movie will be rewarded in the same way as Gits, mediocre reviews and a box office failure. And while well, Scarlett's response didn't exactly help the situation. When contacted by Bustle, a representative for Scarlett stated, quote, Tell them that they can be directed to Jeffrey Tambor, Jared Leto, and Felicity Huffman's reps for comment. Three actors who all play transgender roles while personally identifying as cisgender. Well, it sounds like Scarlett is pretty confident in her decision to play this role despite the backlash. So what do you guys think about her portrayal of a trans man? Do you think it should be given to a member of the trans community or is Scarlett just doing her job? Let me know all your thoughts right down in the comment section below. And when you're done with that, please click right over here for another breaking news story. And don't forget to subscribe to our channels. As always, I'm your host Renee Ariel and I'll see you next time.